Okay, calculus kinematics. What we have here is we have a question where we will be dealing with displacement, velocity, and acceleration, and the trick with calculus and these questions is that these are rates of change. Rate of change of displacement is velocity, and rate of change of velocity is acceleration. So we simply differentiate to track between these expressions. Differentiate here, differentiate. If we had to go the other way, which is always a little bit more tricky, then we have to integrate, integrate. I think in this case what we're going to do is we're going to take a displacement and we're going to differentiate. Let's have a look at the question. Displacement. There we go. Sitting in the question we have that. Find values instantaneously rest. Before I do anything else what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my various expressions to deal with. So what we are given is the displacement 24t plus 30. Right. Differentiate to get velocity. So ds dt will give me velocity. And then differentiate again. dv dt will give me acceleration. And I've got my three formulas now. Instantaneously at rest. Now, something instantaneously at rest has velocity zero. So for part A, I need velocity uh, velocity equal to zero. In other words, I need that to be zero. I think I'll divide through by four just to simplify matters to start with. So dividing through by four I suspect this might factorise 3t and t seems reasonable enough and 3 and 2 to give me the 6 minus 9t minus 2t gives me 11 there we go, that's good and so I've got my values at t equals 100 t equals 2 over 3, 0 is this bracket, or t equals 3. Two values of t when we are instantaneously at rest, when velocity is 0. And our final part of the question here is the acceleration at this time. The first time it occurs is at t equals two thirds, and so for part b, t equals two thirds, acceleration is 24t minus 44, and that's going to give me, I'm running out of a little bit of space here, let me just see if I can shrink things down. This will give me 16 minus equals minus 28 meters per second squared. And that's my question finished.